Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. 1,416 subscribers. I am glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. It's a stormy day in St. Louis, Missouri today. It's like the monsoons here. I'm a little concerned because I had to fix these eight little cracks in a roof yesterday. And I'm hoping that it held. I had no idea that we were going to have a monsoon flooding rain last night. So I'm a little concerned about that, but I'm trying to think positive. <laughs> Pos positive that if it did leak, I can fix whatever it messed up. Well, let's hope so, but maybe it didn't. Think on the bright side. Today I'm going to talk about humility. Humility. People think about humility, they think about humiliation. They think about being servile, scraping. So that's the topic for today. But before we begin and get into detail, smash that like button, subscribe. Check out my books on Amazon, Coming Back Home, The True Adventure of Mark Daniels, and The Power Is Within. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram at Mark's Inspiration. If you'd like to get my help personally, I offer guidance sessions at MarksInspiration.com and you can also find out more about me there and what I do and where I'm coming from about my life, a brief uh, biography and some other things that may be of interest to you. All right, so humility, uh, it's a priceless gift, but none of us like to be humbled. I know I don't like it. I'm still somewhat arrogant but I always say better to err on the side of arrogance than debasing humility. And what do I mean by debasing or degrading humility? It's like not thinking enough of yourself. Most people don't think enough of themselves. They think way too little of themselves. Each of us has a power within us, if we can just tap into it, that would excel you to the greatest heights you could ever imagine. And you may be thinking, nah, maybe you, Mark, maybe some other people, but not me. No, you too. You just have to learn how to tap into it. And one of the ways to tap into it is to have a little humility. First off, that you don't know everything. When I was young, younger, <laughs> I thought I knew everything. But the older I get, the more wisdom I realize my father had. You probably remember how it is when you were a teenager, you had all the answers. Well, I'm 62 and I'm old enough to know that there's so much to know, I'm never going to know everything. Now, can you imagine this? Before I was 30 years old, I was never wrong. Never wrong. How can it be? Well, of course I was wrong many times, but I would never admit it. I would always argue the point. Well, I found out in life that it's easier just to admit if you're wrong. Because there have been times in my life where I was 100% sure I was correct about something, and I was wrong. Fortunately, I didn't argue about it. So remember that. You don't have all the facts about everything that's going on. You never do. You're only judging by your senses your eyes, your ears, your sense of smell, touch. These things are deceiving because there's always something going on underneath all of those things that you can't perceive with those senses that you have. So one of the first things about humility is to remember that you don't have all the answers, but the answers are all out there. They're actually within you, but sometimes you need someone or something out there to help you discover the answers that you have within you. So basically, basically what I'm saying is, be humble enough to ask for help. Be humble enough to accept the answers that come to you every day, from your circumstances, from your environment, from intuitive nudges from within yourself. Don't think that you can figure everything out with this conscious two plus two mind. All you need to do is ask yourself. Ask your higher self, the bigger part of you, the subconscious self, 
the part that is like an iceberg under the water. Your conscious mind is just like the tip above the water, but underneath is a great storehouse of knowledge and wisdom. You can ask that and just let it go and the answer will come to you. Try this sometime. Many of you probably have done this, but someone asks you a question or asks you about somebody and you have the answer, but you can't remember it. And the harder you try to find the answer to remember it, the farther away you get from it. You know it's in there, but you can't find it. You can't recall it. We have perfect memory, but piss poor recall. All you have to do is say, I'll think of that in a moment, the answer to this question, and just let it go and forget about it. And I'll guarantee you, if you can let it go, it will come to you. But you have to be able to let it go. Just try it sometimes. Here's something else I've told you guys too. I don't use an alarm clock. I don't need one. I just tell myself what time I want to wake up and I go to sleep knowing I will wake up at that time or a little before, and I always do. So these things are done by a part of us that we really don't understand. That part of us that is connected to universal intelligence, if you like, God, whatever phrase or name you care to use, and it has all the answers. So what I'm telling you is have enough humility to realize that you can't figure everything out, that you can't run your life with your rational conscious mind. It has its place. But they say it only really directs about 5% of your life. The other 95% is done by your subconscious. So once again, back to humility, realize that you don't have all the answers up here in this rational mind, but there is a part of you, the bigger part of you, the big eye, some people like to call it. We have the small eye, which is this part that says, okay, two plus two equals four. I mean, that's, that's easy. But there's a bigger part of us that knows the answer to every question. You just need to submit to that part of you and allow it to keep you in the flow of life. Whenever you find yourself getting frustrated or stepping on people's toes or forcing or pushing people to believe what you believe or to do what you want them to do, then that's when this little I is running your life. You need to stop, relax, take a step back and allow life to flow out. Now I'm not saying don't take, <clears throat> excuse me, don't take action. You must take action. But when you're taking action to the point where you're pissing people off or you're getting really angry or frustrated, then you're running on self-will, which comes from your little 5% conscious mind. And that usually doesn't end well. You may get what you want, but you will find out later on in life that you would have rather not gotten that or it doesn't turn out to be what you thought it was. But when you can allow things to flow and let go, let go of what you think you want so bad, or so badly, that's the correct English here. I was an English teacher at one time. About what you think you want so badly and just allow things to play out after you've done the footwork, after you've done what's in front of you, after you've done what you're supposed to do, and that's not pushing and shoving and forcing. You'll find out that many, many times, if not all the time, life flows out and gives you what you really want and then you look back in retrospect realizing, man, I'm glad I didn't get what I thought I wanted. This is what I really wanted. So remember that, have that type of humility. I'm not talking about humbling yourselves in front of people or, or acting like you're a doormat or a piece of crap. I'm talking about realizing that there's a bigger part of you that knows better. That you don't have to figure everything out. It's just like when you approach a woman. The best way to do that is to visualize yourself over and over and over going up to beautiful women, what you consider to be beautiful, and having success, having her respond to you greatly, smiling, talking to you, you getting her phone number, or you guys taking off from there and going out and having a coffee or lunch or the hotel or your home or your crib, whatever. Okay, and you do that every day 
two or three times a day, always think of yourself interacting with women in a positive manner and you achieving what you desire to achieve in the interaction. And then when you see a woman you like, you'll get that intuitive thought, I'm gonna talk to her. You cannot stop and think. Approach her and just say hi. And if you've done that enough, the visualization, if you've done it completely and thoroughly, then your words will come. You won't have to worry about what you're going to say. That bigger part of you will take over and you become a natural. But you don't become a natural just by visualizing. You have to face that immediate fear when you meet someone. It's going to come up and tell you things like, ah, she's probably got a boyfriend. Ah, why would she want to talk to you? Look how pretty she is. All that bullshit that's coming from this 5% conscious mind. Ignore that. Immediately take action. Don't worry about what you're going to say. It will come. If you prepared, if you prepared, I'm talking about doing this day in, day out, a couple times a day. Anytime you think about being afraid of a woman, you get that visualization in your head of you meeting a woman, uh, talking, everything going great. She's responding to you. She's being real open with you. She's giving you signals. She's looking you in the eye these things and you see yourself through your own eyes doing what you think you want to do with her you see yourself joking with her laughing at her giving her little hints with your eyes making sexual uh, connotations but not directly saying it the conversation flowing working greatly and like i said the end result you see yourself achieving the end result whatever that happens to be getting her phone number, you guys going out from there, going to the club, going to your apartment, whatever. As if it's always, if it, as if it's really happening, you see it through your own eyes. And as I said, when you meet the girl, when you meet a girl that you wanna to talk to, then just approach her immediately and whatever you need to say will come out because you're already pre-programmed, all right? And that works with everything, business, women, Sports, I've used it in many aspects of my life and it always works if I work it. So that's it for today. Hope this has been of value to you. Thank you again to my 1,416 subscribers. Check out John from Modern Life Dating. He's on Twitch at Hot Dude Life. He got banned for a week on YouTube for talking about our past, our present, current health crisis whatever it was. So check him out on Twitch, Hot Dude Life. He's going to be there for about a week and then he'll be back on YouTube next week. So take care. Have a great day.